Now to competitive eating. New Tucson resident Mickey Sudo is the five time defending champion of the Nathan's Hot Dog 4th of July contest. Her biggest challenger, Tucson's own Michelle Lesko, who finished second to Sudo last year. Today, I had lunch with Sudo as she prepares to battle her friend and competitor at Coney Island on July 4th. All right, we are here at El Goro Canelo, and I am eating with the best eater in the world. The dominance is with Mickey, uh, you know, looking for a five feet, never been done. You recently moved to Tucson. What made you want to move to Tucson? I was just looking for a change of pace. I had visited friends here on a, a couple occasions and uh, fell in love with it. I've been here since the end of last year. So we kind of have a Tucson connection here <laughs> coming up in the competition. Michelle Lesko came out a little slow, just had a couple struggles during the, during the 10 minutes. Is Michelle a competitor, a friend, or both? It's a really weird dynamic, and honestly, I'm so grateful to have her as a friend. They're friends, like Wozniacki and Serena, but the dominance obviously is with Mickey. We're rivals at the table, but she is one of my biggest supporters, and frankly, we do all of our hot dog practices together. Now, I saw where your diet is much different at home than it is in competition. What's your diet oh, at home? Oh, no. If I were eating 41 hot dogs in 10 minutes on a regular basis, I would... Uh, I, I, I'd have to work out a lot harder to maintain any sort of figure. I don't think anybody wants to see me eat, <laughs> but they do want to see you eat. These get messy because it's loose meat. Oh, You're getting messy already. I, I see deductions coming our way. Yeah, she's referring to points and deductions. Uh, she is the heavy favorite. July 4th I would say to, so. to make it yeah. six in a row. Yeah, six in a row for her. Seems like a, a terrifically nice person. Oh, too. she was great. Yeah. Great sport. Yeah. yeah, good stuff, Jason. Thank you.